Hello, I'm sorry that I still can't come in to see you in school in person, but hopefully to make up for that, I've recorded a little bit of a magic trick for you to enjoy today. And you know, I've just been thinking about how actually, do you know, we might look different on the outside, but we're all the same on the inside. Some of us are tall, some of us are short, some have got long hair, some have got short hair, but actually on the inside, we're all exactly the same. You see, the Bible says we were all created by God and created in his image. But you know, even though we're all the same on the inside, we don't always feel the same, do we? And that might be especially so at the moment with everything that's going on, everything being a bit different and all of the worries and concerns about that. And I wonder whether at the moment with all of the, the worries and concerns going on with the virus, maybe you just feel as though you feel a little bit, well, small. You feel just a little bit sort of insignificant as though you know people have got so many things they're worried about so many things they're concerned about that actually they haven't really been paying much attention to you and you know sometimes we feel like that don't we that actually we just don't seem to be that important so perhaps you feel a little bit small and overlooked but then in our world there are people who are well sort of well medium-sized people like perhaps our mums and dads and grown-ups and that. You know, they, they perhaps don't feel as small and left out as us, but, but actually they're not the most important people around, but they're sort of, well, medium-sized. And, and then there are perhaps those, well, big people in our world. The people like um, the Prime Minister, the Queen, the people we see on TV, the really important people. And they obviously get a lot more attention than, well, perhaps the medium-sized people or perhaps even the, the small people, the people who don't feel that important. But I wonder, you know, even though we might sometimes feel a little bit small and insignificant, or, you know, we've got those people who perhaps are a bit more medium-sized, or those people are really important, well, if God created all of us, and this is how God created the world, is, is that how God sees things as well? Does, does God love little people a little bit, and love medium-sized people a medium-sized bit, and love big people a lot? Is that how God sees it, or is it well different to that? Well, I want to tell you today that actually that's not how God sees it. You see, when I look at the Bible, I don't see it like that, that God sees sort of people in different kinds of ways. But actually, when I look at the Bible, I actually see that God actually sees things very differently to how we see things and how perhaps we sometimes feel. You see, the Bible says that God so loved the world. And that includes you and that includes me. He loved us so much, in fact, that he gave his one and only son. So whoever believes in him may not die, but have eternal life. You see, what the Bible says is that actually God doesn't see us as being small or medium sized or big. But in actual fact, that God loves and cares for us so, so much. So I want to say today, whether you feel sort of small and a bit overlooked by people at the moment with everything that's going on, or whether you feel sort of medium sized or Perhaps you even think that you're really big and important. Actually, God loves you just the same. And actually, the Bible says that God did something amazing to show us how much he loves and cares for us, didn't it? You see, the Bible says that God actually came down from heaven, down to earth, and lived a perfect life upon a cross. And actually, he did that so that we could be forgiven of all the things that we've done that are wrong. So actually, the Bible says that God loves and cares for you. So I want to say to you today that no matter how you're feeling, no matter how things might be affecting you, whether you're feeling a bit scared or concerned, perhaps a bit overlooked with everything that's going on at the moment, I want to remind you that actually there are always people around who love and care for us, people who want to help us and reassure us at this time. But even though there are lots of people around us, actually the Bible says that even more important than that is this God who loves and cares for us. The one who created and made us, knows more about us than anybody else. And he wants you to call out to him and ask for help today, if you're feeling a bit unsure or a bit uncertain. He wants to help you because he loves and cares for you so, so much. So just a little magic trick, but hopefully something important to remind you of at this 